Um, I uh, I heard the two assist this eight year old. Mm -hmm. um, but is that what you look at first when you kind of dissect this? Yes, uh, I look at that, and I think I told you guys. Um, a couple of days ago, whenever it was, uh, I've lost track of, of days doing this job, but uh, that when our defense starts off in the first quarter playing well, we usually play well. We only allow 23 points in the first quarter, but then like you said, the, the 32 assists, that means we're sharing the ball. Uh, only eight turnovers, we're taking care of it. Uh, we got out in transition, you know, we had 16 points, which we challenged them because we only had eight last game. Uh, you know, 70 points in the paint. <laughs> That's a big number. That's a season high. Uh, I thought the second unit was great tonight. Jeff back in the second unit, him and Fox was picking roles were amazing. Um, um, Bones was good. Like I try to tell you guys, he's, you guys know he's, he's, a, he's a two to me, you know, and uh, you get him off the ball, making plays. Uh, he, was, he was terrific. But again, everybody was. I thought it was a, a total team effort, but I was really excited about our bench that were playing well with, with Jeff. And I got to throw love to Zeke. Uh, he was good. And then because they play big, we started J. Mike uh, in the starting lineup, and J. Mike was great. You know, just playing in the dunker, playing off Nicola, uh, guys finding him for easy dunks. <laughs> well, we did like the matchup, and Jeff, uh, like you said, was coming off a, a protocol. You know, we wanted to keep Jeff's minutes. Well, you know, studying uh, the Kings, they they do a good job actually of uh, taking away the three point line. That's that's what their defense is 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 tries to do to you. They try to take away the three, um, and, and you can score inside on them. And we was able really to take advantage of, of scoring inside. But then, you know, defensive player of the game was Austin Rivers tonight. Uh, I told you guys before the game uh, that Buddy Hield scared me to death, and and getting Austin to come in off the bench, I thought was great to chase that kid around. <laughs> did you have to say anything for him to to him to for him to shift into higher gear? Did he just kind of recognize the moment and then take over? Well, at halftime, I, I challenged our guys because, as you guys know, we've had some bad third quarters this year, and so you know, I challenged our guys in the third to come on, and you know, I called timeout and, and said again, we kind of, for some reason, we, we we just play a little sloppy start, starting third quarters, and I tried to challenge them again. Come on, let's pick it up, pick it up, and uh, you know, and he led the charge. That's when I, I told him, I said, we got to pick it up. I said, you know, I said at halftime that third quarters, you know, we seem to relax too much. We don't come out and we don't hit first in the third quarter. And uh, after I said that, they, they, I thought they really picked it up for us. And they started playing defense again. And, you know, like any team, our best offense, if we can get stops, get steals, and get out and run. And I thought, like, again, we were able to do that, scoring 16 points in transition. Well, I told him, I told him, I said, uh, you know, I was, I was reading the, the, the scouting report and I said, uh, you know, this, this team swept you last year. And not only that, I told him that we haven't taken care of home this year. You know, we were one in, one in six in our last seven at home. And, uh, you know, we got, we got a bad home record. I said, you know, we're getting ready to go out two games and we come back for six. I said, we got to start playing better at home and taking care of home. Uh, you know, we started off seven and one at home and then uh, since haven't been very good here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, again, all ball with Falco with the ball. You know, it's funny, Falco is a great guy. He, uh, you know, he kept saying, uh, I thought, as you guys saw him and Jeff and his pick and rolls were great. And then he was worried about getting bones. He goes, well, bones has got it going too. I was like, well, Jeff rolling to the basket and you handling the ball is our best offense right now in the second unit. So I think that, you know, when you got a, a point guard who, who's playing well in the pick and roll, but he's still thinking about his backcourt mate. That's pretty good. That's pretty special. Is that rare? I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why is that? Yeah, that, I think it's just rare because you don't see uh, in today's NBA, as you know, the true floor generals anymore. A lot of them want to score more than, and, and, and have the ball in their hand rather than, than, than set their teammates up or give their teammates the ball.
Hi, coach. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. How proud are you of the team effort limiting the turnovers tonight with only one digit? And about the last segment from Faku defending Buddy Hill, blocking shot, and then in uh, in often with the two points. Thank you. Right. Well, obviously, we, we, we preach taking care of the ball. You know, it's, it's a big part, as you know. Uh, you know, we had way, way too many turnovers in the Dallas game, and we've been preaching ever since uh, that, you know, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. It was actually between Austin and Faku tonight who was going to win defensive player of the game. Uh, both of them was kind of there. Faku's great. His energy, again, uh, we showed film yesterday, and I told him, I said, we just need you to, to play with energy, and you have the ball to go downhill and get in the paint. And when he gets in the paint, he's able, as you can see, he's able to make plays with the ball, make passes, and uh, it's, it's huge for our team. Hey, Coach. Uh, it seems just from an outside perspective that the uh, bench vibes tonight were really great, maybe better than they've been in a while. And uh, just wondering if not only the win tonight, but getting players back, coaches back, if you feel like you've maybe kind of turned the corner after going through this difficult time that you've gone through recently. Well, we hope so because, uh, you know, as you know, a, a lot of teams have gone through this. So uh, getting players back, getting guys back in their roles, uh, what they're comfortable with doing, uh, their minutes, everything is, is really important, you know. Uh, uh, and also coaches, you know, eventually we are going to get back in what our roles is. Again, like I said, my role was working on the defensive side of the ball and and everybody went down, uh, obviously on the bench, but, but myself and it was, I still can't figure out why I haven't caught COVID. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I want, I wonder sometimes, but no, it, you know, it was really good to, 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 to get Jeff back out there, uh, to have Zeke back out there. Uh, and then obviously, you know, Jeff, his minutes will go up. I'm sure eventually he'll get back in the starting lineup for us.